Hi, this is Tim, and today we're going to go through the OTL latch instruction and the OTU unlatch instruction. Now, someone earlier said that I left these out of the bit instruction video. Well, I didn't. That was on purpose, and we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. A few things are, we're going to move through these videos fast, especially on creating um, a PLC program, downloading your PLC program and going online, because I have videos for all of those, and I'll put links to those in the description. Also, we're using our Micrologix 1100 trainer which is still wired for our getting started guide to start with we're going to create a new program in RS Logix 500 and we'll just call it latch and down here we have a 1763 Micrologix 1100 series B PLC our channel configuration we already have our PLC set up for 192 168 110 with a subnet at 255, 255, 255, 0. Now, if you're not following this, I have a video of going through everything you need to know about Ethernet configuration, and I'll put a link to it in the description. Also, if your trainer has one of our analog options, don't forget to put your 1762 IF2OF2 in it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to insert an XIC instruction. We're going to look at this green button here, and that is connected to I colon 0 backslash 0. Let's call it the green button. And we are going to use an OTL output latch instruction. And we're going to latch our green light, which is O colon zero backslash zero. We'll call that the green light. Now we're going to take another input. Let's, let's use button three, the red button. Let's do an XIC on it, which is I colon zero backslash five. We'll call it the red button. And then we're going to use this OTU output unlatch instruction. We're going to do the exact same address, the green light, O colon zero backslash zero. And we'll verify that. And we'll go ahead and download it. Said so I have videos on how to download your program, so I'm not going to go through the details of it. I'll put a link to it in the description. And now we are online with our program. And for all basic purposes, pressing the green button latches our green light. Pressing the red button unlatches our green light. The latch instruction is one of those that's fairly misunderstood as to what actually is latching this bit. Well, if we go back to our basic OTE instruction, you'll remember that it executes based on whether it is true or false coming in. So a true OTE says go write a one to whatever address is in it. A false OTE says go write a zero. Well, the OTL and OTU, output latch and output unlatch, are simply an OTE instruction cut in half. So a true OTL instruction says go write a one. And a false OTL instruction does nothing. That's right, as much as I told you that false instructions always do something, this is one of those exceptions. So same, our OTL instruction, if it is true, it does nothing. If it is false, then it says, go write a zero. So again, the most important part to take away from this is there's not something magical somewhere that is holding these latched. An OTL simply can't go write a zero to that output. So as long as nothing else ever goes and writes a zero to it, such as an OTU, then it will continue to have a one in it. Now, just a little bit about why I held off on doing the OTL and OTLH, because you know we've done uh, the XIC, XIO, and OTE instructions, and then we actually moved on. We went through timers, and we went through counters, and then we came back and we did our sealing instruction, and now I did this. And the, the main reason for that is one, you know, if I've said that, you know, there shouldn't be hardcore rules. But one thing I find is that people who are starting to learn about programming PLCs, but don't quite understand how a PLC operates and how it actually scans and execute codes, are more likely to use the OTL and OTU latch and unlatch instructions to try to make the PLC do what it wants. So the You'll, I've seen programs where they may have 20 latches and 20 unlatch instructions operating on the same bit where they're trying to get it to work through a sequence. 
But when something goes wrong, it's really hard to troubleshoot. So again, OTLs and OTUs have a lot of good applications. I use them often, but make sure you're not using them because you don't understand exactly how programs execute code. Coming up soon in our video series, we're actually gonna go through different ways to sequence machine steps, and none of those actually use the latch and unlatch instructions. In fact, um, we have articles on those, so I will go ahead and put those in the description. But hope this video has been helpful. Again, the biggest thing, OTE instruction, you just saw it right in half and you'll have an OTL and OTU. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.